At the dawn of the digital age, billions of ideas and dreams are battling it out. My quest is to find the exceptional one, that one in a billion. The one who conquers all the challenges, with all but one idea. To be that one in a billion, to be a unicorn. Our adventure, our quest begins. This is Unicorn, chasing the startup dream. Lord, I never have time to catch the news when I'm leaving for work in the morning. And catching news on the move? Clearly cumbersome. And sometimes even on the phone these websites take forever to load because of poor connectivity. I really need a better way to catch the headlines before I get busy with my day. But on Unicorn, I think we found a solution. The Daily News Headlines Something most of us glance through with our morning cup of tea and a handy newspaper or just skip through on our favorite news channels. Yet, it's one of those habits that gets kicked out of our routine because of time constraints or just plain life getting in the way. After all, who really has the time to watch long news packages or read long winding articles when you can get your daily news feed from Twitter? And one startup has hit the nail on the head by tapping into the decreasing attention span of consumers when it comes to news. This is InShorts. An app that collates news from the best sources and condenses it into just 60 words. And its interface even had the bosses at Flipkart, the Bunsels, sit up, take notice and of course, invest. So I want to know, InShorts makes no money right now and is purely relying on investments. What does the future hold? What kind of returns are investors expecting from a news app? How does InShorts ensure its content is credible? These three young lads definitely have some strong views on the news which has always been thought to be the monopoly of seasoned journalists up until now. News should be simple and easy to consume. News should be factual to the point. News should be personalized and relevant. Meet the three IITians and brains behind in shots. Azari Kubal. Anune Aruna and Deepit Purka Yastha. The three friends aim to transform the way news is consumed and curated through their startup in shots. But what made these IITians get into the world of news? We saw in our peer group that people were not uh, spending a lot of time reading news and this was a peer group was of people who are in IIT. Leaving IIT and starting a business was not risky at all. The interesting thing are my college gives you a freedom to go and start something of your own and if you fail you can come back to the college and complete your degree anything, any day. And that kind of led us to start that okay we should start something which will help like people of our generation to start get into the behavior of reading news. And from their colourful, cheerful office near Delhi, a team of over 60 young writers and self-professed editors create a curated synopsis for each leading news story. So the interesting part is that uh, if you'll say that how different is my, my life and my friend's life. So my first year roommate, my second year roommate, my third year roommate, all three are right now with us in the journey. And here's the catch. It's all in 60 words. Personalised news, short and crisp, is the USP of this startup. And the founders say their startup has a unique motto and aim. I had explored a lot of organizations before in shorts and uh, there was no organization which actually gave a lot of uh, importance to each and every person who works at the organization. Uh, so I thought let's create that organization. The InShorts founders and team sift through stories from leading news websites and sorts them into important categories. Since its inception in 2013, InShorts has attracted big investors like the Bunsels from Flipkart and has gathered around $24 million of funding so far. But here's a shocker. The startup is currently running on solely investor money and hasn't made any profits yet. That raises a lot of questions and we wonder, of all the sectors that are booming in India, 
why would a startup venture into the complex sector of news? Your direct competition seems to be from news agencies like NDTV. How will you capture the market? Uh, so we see ourselves as a product and a technology platform. We are not in the space of content creation. We would definitely always depend on uh, organizations like NDTV uh, for uh, uh, providing the content and we would deliver it to the users in the most engaging format. So that is the layer of expertise that we focus on. Now how does having a brand like Flipkart on board add it to your startup's brand value? They have definitely added a lot of value in terms of advice because they have been through the journey uh, much before we have and for have been going through till now. Now you say that you are running purely on your investors money and that you are not making any profits. What happens once your funds dry out? So currently our focus is on value creation. We definitely want to uh, go into some kind of revenues uh, and experiment with the revenues. Uh, so value capture will come once our value creation is completely delivered to our users. Now for any business, revenue generation is of course important. What are your plans for revenue generation in the future? Do you plan to tie up with any media agency? The main revenue model that we would be exploring would be uh, around advertising. We want to deliver advertisement also as a piece of content that is relevant for the user. Do your employees have prior experience in journalism and news writing? Yes, we do have many employees who have prior experience in journalism and news writing. We believe that we need to have people from different backgrounds to be in the content curation business because different people understand different sectors. But they still have to stay true to the facts and the gist of the story. It's, it's not news writing in that sense. We are not into generation of content. Writing big articles is different from writing a 60 word summary event where you are reporting only the facts. Well, dear news hounds, the only way to know if InShots has what it takes to take over the competition is with a good old speed test or what we like to call an app off. Let's see how fast the app is. Okay, are you armed with your phone? Yeah. I'm going to tell you about which article I want to know about and let's see who gets it faster. Done. Ready? Okay, no cheating. Tell me about air pollution levels in Delhi. Private vehicles yes. that's allowed from flying Delhi. The Delhi government in an emergency meeting. Okay, my private. article just opened. One last one. My yep. favorite will be... I'm sure I'm going to get this one quicker than you. So, Batman vs Superman. Come on, come on, come on. New come on. Batman vs Superman trailer release. I don't believe this, you've already got it. Okay, so this seriously is much faster than this. Then I have the news that I want in seconds, so it's really fast. Our first mentor, Siddharth Lal, is the managing director of Bruce Clay India. Siddharth is extremely passionate about internet marketing and is well known in the industry for his search engine optimization skills and social media initiatives. Padmaja Ruparel is the co-founder and president of one of the world's largest group of business angels, the Indian Angel Network. Under Padmaja's leadership, IAN has over a hundred companies in its portfolio that spans seven countries. Let's see what the mentors have to say about InShorts' future. InShorts is a very interesting uh, venture. In 60 words, you sort of express uh, a quick one. I think they have a potential, if, but they will have to scale very, very fast. News in Shorts is a great app. Like uh, I did not know about them um, until recently, and I started exploring the app, and I thought, wow, what what a wonderful app! Because I am time bound consumer. I I don't have enough time in my day. An app which gives me all the news blurbs is a fantastic way to go. I am not too sure they have cracked their business model as yet. How they're going to make money at the end of the day is important, and that is something that I would look out for or look for in the future. People are looking for items like breaking news, current news, latest news. But here you have stay informed. So you're not going to rank on Google. And ranking on Google is going to be key to them because that's going to give them free customers. Control, power, ownership, the ability to decide when you walk into work, when you walk out. These are just some of the images associated with running your own startup. The satisfaction you feel when your startup grows from a simple idea cooked in your brain into a fully functional business plan. And then you're at a crossroads. That moment when you know it's time to scale up. And the only way to do so is by approaching a big shark with deep pockets. But that may mean you might have to give up some control of your baby. Timing of course is crucial. So we went and asked an expert, when is it the right time for startups to approach investors? The minimum that you need is a clear idea clarity of market, uh, definition of the problem that you are trying to address and 
who are the team members and how close are you as a team how much time have you spent together to come up with the uh, whole proposition if you come too early which is that you know you wake up this morning and say i've got this you know pulp on my head and you know i want to raise money i think it's going to be extremely challenging and it's probably too early you have to do the initial homework put together a credible plan ideally put some effort create a pilot create something which is you know visible to an investor before you raise serious money uh, till then you should do with ideally friends and family capital or go to an angel once you reach some level of traction development of the product you've got some market uh, you can show that it's working that is when you raise serious money because you know how much money is required the investor can appreciate what uh, is behind the product can see it working and you know will be willing to uh, give you uh, serious money to take you to the next level.